whoops, here I am. Morning. Um, anyway. Oh, assholes with their weed whackers. God damn. <laughs> Human beings. Uh, morons. Ah, uh, sorry. Speaking of morons, Hugs Now guy has made another stupid video. So, I don't know, it's probably my last one to him. It really is a waste of time. And that's all he wants to do is waste time. But it calls it censorship. If we don't all engage in some inane and moronic goddamn debate about, well, why is the speed of light the speed of light? Uh, what is it? Does it have anything to do with the human condition? But no, we're going to waste our time on that. And it's the same old, you know, this is religion, just veiled in new age fluff. But it's all gingerbread houses, it's all fairy tale crap. That, uh, well, we're going to make it mystical and mysterious and interesting because we just don't like reality. And, uh, yeah, and he talks about how our names are a reflection of something, and it's goddamn true. Uh, this guy just wants a hug philosophy. He doesn't want to, he doesn't want to talk about the truth. And then he's going to call it censorship. Because everybody doesn't want to engage in silly, mushy, gingerbread house talk. Um, God, really irritating. You know, the religions of the past could be blamed on ignorance. I mean, people are making at least a sincere effort to understand reality. And they had no facts, so they made up some bad, some bad guesses. But the, these new religions, this isn't ignorance. This is fool. This is fool's gold. This is foolish. This is foolishness. It's, uh, <clears throat> it doesn't have anything. These people don't have to be assholes. They don't have to be dumb and stupid and ignorant and talk babble. Uh, they chose, they choose to. And so it's a whole different kind of uh, nonsense. As it doesn't have to be. They're not confined by ignorance. They're confined by pettiness and, uh, and uh, uh, what is it, duplicity and, <laughs> uh, you know, it's just their own uh, inability to have a fair argument. And again, they'll call it censorship because you'll require them to actually demonstrate something, not just talk out of their ass, complete fucking bullshit. Well, what if... Uh, Strawberries ruled the world. Who cares? What if? What if? <laughs> I could say something, but I won't say it. Uh, but anyway, all right. So let's get to some of the minor substance, if there was any in this video, which there wasn't. Um, all right. So here we go. Let me see here. Uh, damn, I can't even read what I wrote. <laughs> but anyway, so it says about the. Atomic particles and the speed of light, like you know, like 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 the constant, there being a constant of a speed of light is somehow mysterious, and that a real skeptic is going to sit there and ponder that, and waste a whole bunch of time trying to figure out well, how did the how did the speed of light know to be the speed of light? <laughs> yeah, gee, it's miraculous, it's mysterious, it's it's just uh, you know impossible to comprehend, and. Uh, you know, it's just, and then he qualifies it by saying something stupid like, well, I'm not saying God did it. I'm not, well, yeah, yes, you are. Okay, <laughs> you're saying something else besides it's a fact of the universe. Um, anything, any reality is going to have constants. That's just, the, <laughs> that's just the fact. It's nothing, there's no such, there's no reason to conceive. There's no evidence of, not one tiny speck of evidence. Uh, of any possibility of a universe existing that doesn't based on constants, that doesn't have a cause and effect reality, uh, where stuff doesn't happen for no reason. Uh, it's just so stupid. And then on the particulars of the speed of light, the speed of light is like the clock speed of the universe. It's like every mechanical thing probably is, has to be rooted in some sort of clock speed. And, uh, and I, so I would argue that that's the speed of light just demonstrates what, uh, how, you know, the time it takes um, uh, this basic particle to f the, f uh, the first, uh, uh, the smallest domino to flip. So you could think of it that way. The speed of light is the time it takes the smallest domino in the universe to go from the upright position to the fall down position. And that's what it's based on. 
doesn't have to be mysterious, it's completely cause and effect, completely, um, we can model it quite accurately, no need for phantasmagorical bullshit, no need to even talk about it because it really is irrelevant to the introduction uh, on planet Earth of a reproducing compound. That's our story. That's the relevant story. The rest of the mechanics of the universe are beyond um, our intervention and beyond useful contemplation. Uh, anyway, <clears throat> um, yeah, these are questions that, if they if they need answering, they're not going to you're not going to need to answer them for a million years. You're going to have to have something called big giant power before these questions matter. Uh, with coffee again. No comparison in natural selection. Create process. Uh, no compassion. Oh yeah, so he starts this video by um, misparaphrasing me again, as they all do, and stating that I said there's no compassion in the universe. It's not what I said. I said there's no compassion, there's no mercy, there's no I hope for everything to go okay in the process of evolution. Evolution doesn't hope or aspire or care. Doesn't, uh, doesn't, there's no referee obliging a fair creation. All right, that's what I said, asshole. So you can't give the argument a fair fight. You're worse than a censor. You're a distorter and a perverter to your convenience. So you can malign uh, uh, the counter position. And again, you brought up Dawkins with some kind of snarky attitude again. <laughs> so whatever. Fuck you. Um, if it doesn't create advantage, uh, it will not be, yeah, propagated. Yeah, so, I mean, that's the nature's game. And uh, so any compassion that we have been able to manifest, we manifest it through the rules of natural selection. So, obviously, the compassion we feel is usually generated by something called attraction or love, which in turn we understand with that, we understand the selfish gene element in that. Uh, yeah, we can see it in the world where there's a ton of bigotry, and uh, the reason why all that exists is because we do love narrowly and subjectively and based on very... Um, crude mechanics, because that was what evolution was rewarding, was the social dynamic, group warfare, gang warfare. That's what got rewarded, and uh, tribal warfare. Uh, you know, and that's it. Idiot. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, right. Gangs are are more powerful than individuals. It's not that complicated, and you need something to hold gangs together. It's called love. <laughs> uh, let's see. So yeah, you got to understand. You know, you do it, but you don't care to. You know, there's direct causes to things, and then there's indirect, subtle causes. And uh, too many people, like you creationist nuts, like you phantasmagorical gingerbread bullshitters, you want to just look at the superficial and direct. You don't want to think for a couple of minutes and realize, oh yeah, there's a subtle indirect cause. There's an indirect uh, complication or implication. So you just don't give the argument a fair fight because that's not your, that's not your game. You're playing some other kind of game. It is a game. You, your pretense that you're sympathetic to atheist philosophy when you clearly are sympathetic to something made out of fucking gingerbread. <laughs> I mean, look at you, look at the, the, the stupid images on your fucking video. Uh, you know, it's all baby talk, fantasy, fairy tale. Uh, alright. Let's see if there's anything else in these notes. Sorry, this wasn't, this would have been a much better video, but I'm just kind of in a hurry and, um, Let's see, cause and effect demands constants. Yeah, I, I mean, the physics is good to talk about. I, I don't have anything against talking about physics. Uh, but, you know, there's no, but, and there's no need to create mystery. 
the fact that elements have properties, you know, this is not uh, something that, you know, like I said, we don't, <laughs> you're not breaking the rules by accepting that as a truth and not being too concerned, not saying, well, who designed it? It's not very complex a design. Um, things, uh, it's, it's the nature of what the energy is capable of. And that, uh, there's just no way to formulate a foundation for a universe, a mechanism, that doesn't have some kind of base, some sort of structure that defines what it's, what's possible. And uh, it's just, uh, you know, uh, physics, there's lots to chemistry, there's lots to um, why different atoms have different properties, there's lots to understand. In